The first award that we are going to present is an, an award that is very dear to my heart. Um, last year, uh, um, the week before our banquet last year, um, a personal friend of mine and somebody that's um, part of our community um, unfortunately lost his life um, in, in an act, a crime um, where he was uh, simply going to a gas station to get something on his way out. He was confronted um, and he was murdered. Um, and he was a dear friend of mine, dear friend of friends as well. He was one of the most solid guys I knew. Um, he always had a very positive attitude. He was one of those guys, and there are many in our community, one of those guys that just no negativity, always encouraging people, never trash talking. Um, and his absence is felt um, in, in the boxing community. Um, with that said, I'd like to call uh, a gentleman up to, to the microphone, uh, Coach Deshaun. Coach Deshaun, if you would please come up, you can come up to right there. Um, Coach Deshaun uh, was not only uh, Michael Robinson's uh, trainer, he was also a father figure to, to Michael and obviously a very close friend. So if you would please share, let everybody know who and what Michael was all about. Thank you so much, Jose. Thank you, David. God bless you guys for coming out. I'm so overwhelmed because I love Jose Santiago. That's my man. And the things that he does, because him and David doing this for us is amazing. Being recognized, not being forgotten. And, I, and speaking of Mike, he'll never be forgotten. Because even though he's not here personally, his spirit, his, pre, his presence is here. Mike was the type of young man, when he came to my gym, well actually I saw Mike at an amateur show. And he was the first fighter I've seen there with a Bible. And I was like, so what's this guy? But I thought that was unique because I'm a man of faith. So I went to him and I said, young man, you're gonna win this fight. And he did win that fight and he came to me and said, coach, thank you. And he smiled, that radiant smile. And I said, something about this guy is overwhelming. And I had no idea one day I would be his coach. And sure enough, shortly after, he left um, the, the city he was living in and came closer to where my gym was and he came and joined. And I took him in as a son. And the young man was, he helped me train fighters. I had a bunch of fighters that I couldn't handle by myself. And he said, Coach, him and some of the other guys chipped in and joined in and helped me train some of these fighters. Mike was always encouraging, blessing someone, smiling. Even if you didn't do a technique correctly, even if a boxer or coach was a little bit, because you know how we see some coaches for even MMA or boxing, whatever it is, is a little bit weak at something, people criticize them. But we don't do that, Mike didn't do that. Mike said, yo coach, you know, just keep, you know, stay encouraged, you're gonna, you're gonna get better. Say to the fighter, he says to the fighter, stay encouraged. Mike always, every time I saw him when he came to the gym, he lit up the gym. He was, every time I was at the gym, I waited for him because he's gonna bring the light. That guy was amazing. And I'm so, and, and, and I was blessed because I took him in, he, you know, I fed him every day, he loved to eat. Mike was an eating cat, so I, I'm a, and I cook okay, and I would feed this guy and coach him. I mean, he was just one of those guys, and if you're a father, and I am a father, and after my pass, it hurted me so much. It hurted me just as bad as my biological son, because my oldest son committed suicide years ago. And it hurted the same way. That's how close, and how to, that's how much Mike meant to me. And those who knew Mike, you knew that. You knew this guy, and you loved him. And thank you for coming out, and I pray his mother is here. Um, Kathy, give it up for his mother. And his fiance is here, Nita. And you all probably know Nita. So thank you guys. And literally, thank you, Jose, for this award for such an incredible young man. Miss Kathy and Nia, if you would please come forward. Join us on stage. Yeah. 
wearing the t-shirts that we wore at Mike's uh, funeral. These are Mike, these are the t-shirts that we have been at made for Mike Pitchman. So to honor Mike, um, Mike was a very supportive guy, as Coach Deshaun said. He would never look down on anybody. He was always willing to help anybody. Didn't matter if you were old, like me, trying to still box, or if you're a little kid that's five years old and you wanted to box. If you needed a helping hand, Mike would be there for you. So to honor Mike, we've created a new award, and it's called the Michael Robinson Award of Excellence in Boxing. The first recipient is a gentleman who exhumes all of the things that Mike Robinson did. He's always there for people. He never says no. He trains people that are in their 50s coming out of a corporate office. He trains little kids, teaches them how to box. He's always there willing to help and always encouraging people. So on behalf of Team Robinson, the winner of the Michael Robinson Boxing Award of Excellence this year is Christian Steele. Pleasure. You know, Mike was a friend of mine, a good sparring partner and everything, so it hurt me as well when, when I found out what happened. But uh, uh, I plan to continue, you know, showing the same characteristics that Mike did, you know, helping everybody else. And uh, again, thanks again. <laughs> 